Hello, thank you for tuning in. I'm Chiara Longoni, and I'm excited to share a research titled News from Generative AI is Believed Less, co-authored with Andrei Frakin, Luca Chan, and Gordon Pennycook. The full paper is available open access in the ACM FAC proceedings, as well as on our websites. And all experimental materials, registrations, and data are posted publicly on the Open Science Framework under our names, and the link is provided here as well. So one of the applications of artificial intelligence that has shown the most promising advances in the last decade is that of generative AI, which refers to AI algorithms capable of producing textual, visual, and auditory content with little to no human intervention. Applications of generative AI are more pervasive than one might think. For instance, leading media companies such as the Associated Press, Forbes, the New York Times, the Washington Post, all use AI to generate entire articles from scratch and automatically report on crimes, financial markets, politics, sporting events, and foreign affairs. When AI is used to generate content, its role is typically not disclosed. Without this disclosure, readers cannot determine whether an AI was used from text alone. However, because of the potential misuse or unintended consequences of this new technology, ethicists and policymakers have argued that the use of AI should be disclosed. The question that we ask in this research is then how will people perceive news generated by AI once it is labeled as such? At the moment, we don't know the answer to this question because most of existing research has focused on the technical aspects of text generation or on the benefits of AI to publishers. And so it has neglected to consider how people will perceive news from AI, which is what we do in our research. Specifically, we focus on the effect of tagging news items as written by an AI or by a human on perceptions of news accuracy. We tested our predictions in two large pre-registered experiments on national representative UF samples. We used real news comprising a text headline and an accompanying photo that appeared in news outlets at the time of the experiments. We focus on headlines rather than on full articles because news consumption largely occurs at the level of headlines. As we were interested in assessing whether the effect of AI disclosure was moderated by news actual veracity, whether the news was objectively accurate or inaccurate, we predetermined whether each news item was true or false by relying on the fact-checking site snoops.com. Experiment one employed a between subject or a separate evaluation paradigm. Participants saw either news items tagged as written by an AI or by a human. And our main dependent variable was perception of news accuracy assessed on a four point scale. Experiment two employed a within subject or a joint evaluation paradigm. Participants saw both news items tagged as written by AI and by a human. We conducted this within subject experiment to refine the measurement of accuracy, given that it should be easier to evaluate the reporter in a joint paradigm. Both experiments showed a negative effect of AI disclosure. Tagging news items as written by an AI was associated with a significant reduction in perceived accuracy compared to the control condition in which news items were tagged as written by a human. These results are in column one. Regression specification with news items fixed effects which allow for baseline accuracy rating to vary with the news, column two, and separately for true, column three, and false news, column four, yielded the same conclusions. Please refer to the full paper for a much more detailed account of the analysis and results of treatment effect heterogeneity related to the other variables that we collected. To summarize, the results of our experiments strongly corroborated an AI version account. Disclosing use of AI led people to believe news less. An important implication of our experiments is that calls for transparency in the use of generative AI may backfire. Disclosing use of AI may further exacerbate the already declining public trust in news outlets. Overall, our research is only the first step towards understanding the complex phenomenon of how people perceive generative AI. And given the speed with which these systems are being developed and adopted, we hope that this research will spur further investigation of this topic. Many thanks for your attention.